How's it going everyone? Mask here back with another Ragnarok M Eternal Love video. This is part two of a two-part video about the gacha pongs. It was just getting a little long, so I split it into two. Make sure you check out the first one if you're just stumbling across this. It'll be linked at the end of the video or come up on a card or something like that. Haven't quite figured all that stuff out yet. But uh, this is going to be about the headwear and the card gacha pongs. We'll be looking at the rates uh, and how, the, uh, how much they cost, how it scales up and all that jazz we're also going to do some pulls so make sure you check it out all right so i'm back on mask priest yes creative i know and uh i've already done one pull from the headwear gashapon and i got alice um but let's take a look at what we already know so the the saints gear gachapon, the equipment one it caps out at 50 big cat coins per pull so it's going to cost you 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 and then all your pulls will cost you 50 big cat coins from there on. Now keep in mind, this resets back to 10 at the daily reset every single day. So by continuing to push, you're wasting five times as much big cat coin pulling at 50 than you could pulling at 10. If you're So if you're really casual and you're not spending a ton of money on the game, definitely consider only doing one pull a day. Just keep getting a new piece every day for that 10 big cat coins and save them, save them, save them. But for those of you who are going to be going hard, dropping a decent amount of money, you now know where the ceiling exists. It's at 50 big cat coins per pull. Now let's check out the headwear gacha fun. So details again. So we pulled for Alice. That was a 23% rate uh, and it's still at 21. So it looks like the headwear gacha pond does not scale up like the Saints gear, like the equipment one does. Every single pull is going to cost you 21 cat coins. So there's two Alice's we already got. Um, the I ideal setup, there's one piece we needed. That is the Knight Era. Equip that now. Uh, that was a 28% rate to pull that, so pretty easy. We're looking for best in slots are the really hard ones to pull now. The Golden Marsh at 5%. The Blue Islude Sea at 6%. And Sweet Memory of Marriage at 7%. Now, still that being said, like... We're spending very comparable amount of big cat coins on this Gashapon compared to the equipment one, but what we're getting out of it is a fraction of the actual bonus experience. So definitely, definitely don't dive into the headwear Gashapon until you pretty well geared yourself out in complete Saints gear. But here we go, the blue is Lude C. This is a back, this is the best in slot back equip. That was a 6% rate to pull that, that's really awesome. Golden Marsh and uh, the Sweet Memory of Marriage would, would make us fully geared out. I'm going to pull all these coins. We're just going to keep going and see uh, how long it's going to take me to pull all of the pieces. If we even can with our thousand big cat coins that we have. <laughs> with the cat. You turn the machine on. The cat wakes up, starts falling off, and has to claw its way back on. There's Night Era again. We're looking for Golden Marsh. Golden Marsh is not that important to me. Like I said, that's it's only a 3% damage boost. It's best in slot tail that comes out of this machine because it's the only tail. But I'd much... I'm really looking for the sweet memory of marriage. There's Moonlight. That's not terrible. See, now Moonlight, uh, for Alice, is already a headgear. So technically, we have a headgear, a back gear, and the glasses. And we're walking away looking pretty good right now. The only reason you that uh, the Sweet Memory of Marriage is best in slot is you get that 1% extra experience, uh, but it also isn't having your experience lopsided. Right now with the four Alice on, my experience will be lopsided because uh, it's giving me 5% job experience. That being said, if you guys remember from, if, if this was all in the same account, I know this is spread out over two, but if this was on the same account, you guys saw me get the full Saints gear set minus one of my accessories. So missing out on one accessory is minus 5% base experience boost. We had a 30% job XP and 25% base XP boost uh, on that other character. So we could actually even that out by getting the job experience boosting headgear. So that would be for Alice. For Alice is 5% or sorry, no, the base experience boost. Moonlight gives me 5% base experience. That would bring me up to 30%. And then we have, uh, we have the blue Islude Seed giving me 5% job. 
and the uh, Night Era giving me 5% base. So that's balanced out. The Moonlight balanced out the imbalance that was left over from our... Uh, from our uh, Saint set. And then we'd be actually, we'd actually be looking really good. So at that point, it really wouldn't make a whole lot of sense whatsoever for me to continue pulling to get the Sweet Memory of Marriage. But I'm just going to, we're going to pull a bunch more on this machine here and see what it looks like. I want to see if we can get it. 664. I would say probably one of the most common things to be missing from your, well, that's actually wrong. Like, the getting the shield, that's a pretty rare drop coming out of that Saint's gear. There's only one shield. And, I mean, even getting your own weapon. Pretty well everything out of there is actually crazy hard to get your hands on. But... If you maxed out your Saints, you're at, it's 50 big cat coins a pull in that Saint gear machine. You definitely want to do maybe five. Probably, no. Oh, there it is. Sweet memory of marriage. So we've done it. That is best in slot. Uh, no, we're missing the, the, um, we are missing. <sighs> Sorry. Totally gap. We're missing the golden march tail but it doesn't give you an experience bonus so it's not on my list of necessary really whatsoever to get uh sweet memory of marriage and <laughs> oh my gosh you run around with a veil that's hilarious but this is all of the experience the best experience boosts you can get from the headwear gosh upon i'm not going to pull from the saints on this account let's let's just run over to the card gosh upon and do a couple pulls on it let's check things out so our first pull is going to cost us 30 and we'll see what we get. We got a gray Marduk card. Or is that blue? No. I'm not familiar with all the cards in the game yet. That's a, There's going to be a lot of reading for me to do. 60! Oh my lord! First pull costs 30. Second pull is costing me 60. There's De Desert Wolf. 100! 30 plus 30 is 60. It went up by 40 to 100. Thief Bug Egg card. Went up by 50 to 150. So we assume it goes up by 60. No, it went up by 50 again to 200. And we'll see what it goes to after 200. Or does it actually cap at 200? Yes. So it caps at 200. There's the card gotcha pawn. Totally dissected for you as well. Um, really, I don't feel like I got, uh, anything that was even worth it out of there. Let's check everything out in our bag. No, we know the rates are horrible. We did pull, we actually did pull a blue card. The Desert Wolf card is a blue card. That was a 1.4% chance to pull that card. Desert Wolf. Damage to s size monsters plus 25% and 15 attack. That is a 1.4 million zenny card right now uh that is really crazy actually really crazy so that was lucky i wouldn't pay too much attention to it at a 1.4 percent rate scaling extremely quickly to costing you 200 big cat coins a pull guys that's like that's like 40 dollars a pull <laughs> if you cap it out to 200 but uh i did get a good card from it that is pretty cool the card gotcha pawn caps out at 200 big cat coins. The saint's gear or equipment gotcha pawn caps out at 50. And right now, the headgear gotcha pawn is costing 21 big cat coins a pull, but it's 33% off. It is normally always 30 coins per pull. But that is everything you need to know about the gotcha pawns and uh, and what you, what you're trying to get out of them to be ready for day one when the uh, when this game actually goes live for global or even if you're just playing already and you just haven't took taken a close look at them yet so you have 38 percent bonus base and job experience to be gained from the headwear and the equipment gosh upon definitely going to give you the give you a pretty good edge a good advantage if you're racing someone to a certain level but i hope you guys enjoyed this uh there's lots more ragnarok m eternal love content to come uh i've just i'm really excited to dive so deep into this game. I've been waiting for it to come out for such a long time. Uh, thanks as always for checking out my video. Make sure to come join our Ragnarok M Eternal Love community growing on our Discord. It's discord.gg slash mask TV. It's in the description down below. And uh, yeah, we have, a, we have a bunch of uh, Ragnarok 
veterans, people who have played the original Ragnarok online like I did, and, and some people who have been playing in the China and C servers for Ragnarok and Eternal Love as well. Plus, if you think you're great or you're smart or you're a veteran at the game, we'd love to have you because there's still so much we don't know. We're trying to learn and I'd really appreciate coming and lending us your wisdom. And of course, if you have any questions, I'm always on Discord. Ask me anything at any time. You can ping me. You can ask all the other awesome people on there waiting to help you out as well. But that's going to do it for today. Make sure you check out my Facebook and my Twitter. Also in the description. That's how you know when I'm going live, when you can catch me on Twitch. But for now, until next time, smash that subscribe button and stay classy.